My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We, we love, love you, Glamma! Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. Hi everyone, Glamma here. Welcome back to Glam It Up with Glamma. So today we are going to be reviewing yet another lip plumper, lip plumper number three. So this is it right here. It's in the shape of a apple. And yeah, I love these kind of apples. <laughs> um, so here is a picture of what they say your lips can look like. I don't know, those are mighty full and juicy looking and I love how it has like a little divide right here. So let's see if this is gonna work. So if you're as curious as me to find out how this one works, then come on, let's go, follow me. Okay, so here it is out of the packaging and let's take a look. Okay, oh, there's like a little cover right here. Let's take that out. Oh, okay, yeah. So you see this little line right here is what's supposed to give that little divide or that little divot in your lip and it even has a little pair of lips right there. So it lets you know which way that your lips go. So I'm gonna take this lipstick off and then we're gonna use the exact same lipstick afterwards to see if there's a difference in my lips. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Okay, so just like the others, you're supposed to put your lips in there and suck. And it says to only do it for a, like a couple minutes at a time, not to leave it on for too long or you'll get bruising, of course. So we don't wanna leave it on too, too long. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can see exactly how long it says to do it each time. And of course you can do it for as many times as you want till you get the desired plumpness that you want. Okay, so right here it says day one, do four minutes total with one minute duration and one minute break in between. Day two, and three, it says to rest. Oh, I didn't even read this before. It tells you like by days what to do. Day four to six, apply the product one session per day. Each session will last for a total of four minutes with two minute duration and a two minute break in between. Day seven to nine, apply the product one session per day. Each session will last for a total of six minutes with two minutes duration and 10 minutes break in between. I wonder why it has you do it in days like that. Is it, is it supposed to last longer? Day 10 and forward. You can plump your lips as often as you like. If your lips are sore, please rest a few days before you start again. Hickey marks should not occur again. What? However, all individuals conditioning periods are different. If this is the case, give your lips a break until the marks clear. Um, okay, so I guess the hickey marks are talking about the bruising. Wow, I didn't know that you were supposed to do it in intervals like or in different days like that. I just thought you did it whenever you wanted it done. I didn't know that there was like day one, day two, you know, like to prep. Hmm. Um, four minutes total, so it says do one minute intervals basically. Do it for one minute and then rest a minute. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, so that was one minute. I do see a little more plumpness to them. Now it says to wait a minute. So of course, I'll fast forward this. Okay, let's go for one more minute. Okay, round two, <laughs> round two, round two. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing that much difference on the bottom, but I am starting to see it on the top, but not much on the bottom. 
So let's wait a minute and then try it for a third time. I'm afraid to suck too hard because I don't want to get bruising because I can see exactly where the bruising would be. I love the lips on here, that's cute. And it says candy, like candy apple. <laughs> I love these green gran Granny Smith apples. Okay, so let's get started for a third time. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to see a little bit of a divide right there, but not as much as I wanted. Hmm. All right, now we have to wait a minute. Meanwhile, I think I will contour my nose. I haven't hardly, I don't have anything really on my face. All I have is um, powder foundation, Clinique powder foundation, some Hoola bronzer, um, and Hoola bronzer right here, and that's about it. So... And, of course, my wonder brow that stays on for days. Ooh, I think I need to do it again. Let me go ahead. The minute is up. Let's do it again for the fourth time. Oh, it feels weird when I talk. I can actually feel it dividing right there. It, like, folds into itself. Well, my lips look like they're getting purple. I bet you they're going to bruise tomorrow. Mm, I'm not seeing the divide like I would like, especially not like in this picture. Let me let my dog in. Hold on a second. Um, probably not supposed to try it again, but I'm going to do it some more. That's why they probably want you to do it um, in, you know, they probably want you to do it over a few days so that you don't bruise your lips. But I want my lips to look like that, juicy like that. <laughs> I'm going to try it a couple more times. I just can't get a good suction anymore, so I think we're going to call it quits there. But let's... Go ahead and get, let's fix this up around here. I'll touch that up. And then let's get the same lipstick on that I had earlier. Okay, there's a little lip liner. And I was using Rimmel number 45. This one right here. I sure do like how the top lip looks. So there's that. <laughs> wow, yeah, you kind of tend to talk different when your lips are full like that. I wish this would have done more. All the suction was happening up here and I didn't hardly feel any suction on the bottom, so I'm either doing it wrong or something, but I'm gonna be trying it again. I'm gonna get close and take a picture. Okay guys, so here is what this one does. And next we will be reviewing the red one. The red one I have a feeling is going to be a lot like this one because this one didn't do, it did it a little bit. It kind of created a little bit of a, of a divide here, but not as much as I wanted. Let me get the red one and show you what we're gonna be reviewing next. So here's the red one. We will be doing this one next. This one is not supposed to have the divide on the bottom lip, so it's probably going to be very similar to what this came out like. Um, however, I do notice that as time is going on, it is getting a little bit more swollen, um, the bottom one, but not quite as much as the top one. So anyway, 
this is what this looks like. Let me know what your thoughts are. I know that a lot of y'all on the other one say that you prefer my regular lips. Um, what my regular lips look like now isn't what they used to look like when I was younger. When I was younger, my lips were fuller, um, kind of swollenish like this, and I really liked them. But as you get older, everything kind of depletes, <laughs> um, except the things you don't want. You get more wrinkles, but you get less fullness of, of your lips and uh, less elastic elasticity and less hair on your brows and lashes and yeah everything you don't want to disappear disappears everything you you want to disappear doesn't <laughs> so anyway let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this if you have one if you've tried it so all right you guys don't forget how much i love you don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with all right bye Mwah. besitos from my Juicy Granny Smith apple lips to yours. <laughs>